So people shoot a gun for the first time and enjoy the experience. Game on. And make efforts to do it again every once in a while. Other people get a Magnum 500 put in their hands for the first time and never want to shoot a gun again. Give me some, that was great. <laughs> then there are those who shoot for the first time and become obsessed. I was one of those people. In the beginning, I would go to static ranges faithfully. Over time, static ranges started feeling like drinking decaf coffee. Being forced to shoot an AR-15 one round per second was like giving me the keys to a Lamborghini Huracan and then telling me not to go over 30 miles an hour. On the outside, competitive shooting can look redundant. But take a closer look, and each shooting sport and style requires a very particular skill set. Some of these skill sets overlap, but being successful in one doesn't guarantee success in the other. Never did I learn this more clearly than shooting USPSA style with Johan and Casey from Federal Premium. Coleon, it is so great for you to join us here, us Federal Cartridge guys at the scenic Monticello Sportsman's Club in Monticello, Minnesota. Thanks for having me. We've been awaiting your arrival with bated breath, and we're very eager to start shooting. I brought my co-worker along, Casey Reed, one of our R&D development engineers. We built a nice little challenging combination for you. We begin on the left side of the range. You will engage a multitude of paper targets, steel poppers, as well as steel popper activated swinging targets. So the goal is for you to engage steel with two shots each, neutralize the steel targets, move towards the right, working your way into the barricade where you have to drop down to shoot from a low position. And then you finish over here on the right barrel where you lean over to the right to catch the last target with your handgun, secure your handgun, make it safe, slide lock, magazine out, sprint back towards the rifle. The goal is to neutralize one egg with one shot from the rifle. Repeat shots are allowed in the event uh, fate prohibits you from connecting the first time. I only need one. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I haven't quite shot like this before, so I'm interested to see how I do. It should be fun. Absolutely. Is the shooter ready? Stand by. Hit, bolt up. I'm many things. I'm a mom, a veteran, a pro shooter, and to the core, I'm an American. I live in a place where as a woman, I can vote, speak my mind, and own guns. But the greatest blow I strike for freedom happens when I take a gun and I put it in the hands of a woman who's never touched one before. When I show her it's just a tool, that it's safe when I show her that she can choose not to be afraid. Is the shooter ready? Shooter ready. Okay, stand by. Bolt up, magazine out, range is safe. Well done. All right, Johan, lay it on me. How'd I do? Well, Colin, you came up with a hit factor of 1.76. Now, to me, that sounds good, but that's... 
coming from ignorance, so I'm pretty sure that's actually bad, right? I think it's actually pretty good, if, if you want to take my opinion. Okay. As a comparison, Casey's score was a hit factor of 3.6. Okay. But it's a matter of, you know, running as fast as you can within your accuracy potential. Mm -hmm. It's always that fine balance, that fine line between accuracy and speed. Now, if you were going to give me some advice, for somebody like me who hasn't, like, this is my first time actually shooting in this manner, if, if I'm, like, going forward from what you've seen today, what, what advice would you give me? Uh, fundamentals, so your draw, trigger control, transitions, uh, splits, things like that. Just basically the fundamentals of shooting. So those are the biggest ones. If you can master those, all the movement, everything else, just comes natural. Whenever we talk about shooting or the Second Amendment, the gun usually steals the show. But like a rapper without a good producer, a gun is useless without a bullet to fire from it. Neither one can work without the other as they each give a higher purpose to the other's existence. To many people, a bullet is just a bullet. And if we're talking blowing up watermelons and soda cans, they're probably right. But a bullet that stops a threat is a lifesaver. A bullet that puts down a deer with one shot is a clean hunt. And a bullet traveling faster than the speed of sound hitting a small still target from a thousand yards away is incredible. That's why a company like Federal Premium Ammunition sells more than just bullets. They sell safety, ethics, science, and yes, a fundamental right. It's hard to fully grasp how something that seems so simple and straightforward as a bullet can warrant such a massive operation. People who love to shoot treat ammo like a precious commodity. Seeing the sheer volume of ammo Federal Premium produces in a day was mind-boggling. It was tantamount to watching someone print money in my living room on a Tuesday. There was something incredibly sobering about seeing the humble beginnings of a shotgun shell. The ammo for the most powerful small arms in the world starts out as a little bit of plastic. The incredible precision of machine producing hundreds of thousands of the same round that will serve as the one vital shot from a gun during a hunt, shooting competition, or self-defense situation was telling of the importance of the premium and the federal premium brand. With a personal defense round in, in general, or a duty round, keeping that jacket and core locked together uh -huh. is critical. And as these bullets have gotten better, you guys talked about it, yeah. it's made caliber less critical of a decision. So it's really more about what are you comfortable shooting, what do you know you can control, and then pick the round that you, that you know is gonna perform. And there you have it. When you're in the business of making bullets, a bullet should never be just a bullet because it represents so much more than putting holes in things. It's the backbone of the shooting world and the facilitator of our Second Amendment right. Next week on Noir. I leave my beloved concrete jungle and head into the woods of Yakima, Washington with professional hunter Christy Titus.